Hello everyone, this is Mukundan Raghavan and this video we are going to see the filtering locators. So far we have seen lot of locators and different types of locators. Let's try to understand how to filter the locators and even before to that what is the need to filter the locators. Let's jump into the demo directly. Imagine you have the dummy website, maybe e-commerce website, you have multiple products. Now you want to select a specific product. So in that case, you will have the list of products in your visible page. You need to filter out the list by giving the exact product name because all the products will have the same button with the same name called add to cart. Even sometimes this add to cart might be disabled because that product is out of stock. So this kind of scenarios will happen very frequently so that you need to filter out. Otherwise, it will be finding multiple products or multiple locators having the same quality. So that's the reason we have the reason to filter out the products. Now let's jump into the code and let's see how to filter the locators. Here you can see the sample code. It has the different list items and every item will have the product heading and the button called add to cart. This is a sample website, so you will have only limited items. Whereas in real time, in real websites, you will have multiple things, but still it will be under the list item. Now let's jump into the test case. Now, obviously we are going to the URL and we are getting the things by role list items. So, at the line number eight, you will be getting all the list item, maybe five products, maybe six products. It could be any number of item. But in that, we need to filter by has text and only the product. And it also should not have the text out of stock. So that's the reason we mentioned two conditions inside this filter as a JSON object or key and value. The possible keys could be has text and the text that you want to expect and the has not text, the text you should not expect. So this condition has been given. Then I am clicking on the button. So that's the reason I'm selecting by role button and the name is add to cart. Then I'm clicking on that. As per this sample website, it will be showing the message called product to is added to the cart. I'm just having the visible check and the normal asset to be visible. Even sometimes you can apply the filter on the list items, not like has text, even you can use the has. So when you mention the has, it can even have another locator. For example, page dot get by role heading product three. Even this is possible. The only difference is the previous one has the key as has text, whereas here only has. Then whenever you mention has, there you will be adding the actual locator. If you are directly having the text, you will mention has text. Now remaining everything is same. Now some of the times you will have the scenario, you need to make sure the available product should be within some limit or within some range, or it should be greater than something. Whereas out of stock should be also in the same category. It could be only one, minimum only one product should be out of stock in the page or it could be any number of things that you want to see. Now, in that case, we will not directly have the asset statement. We will be having the direct statement maybe sometime like this to have a count, but it's better to have a variable separately. Why? Because it will look for only the count if you know the exact expected count. Whereas if you want to see the ranges, for example, it should be within from 5 to 10 or it could be greater than less than in those scenarios, we will not directly assert that like to have account. We will mention get by role list items and we will apply all the filters. Sometimes has text to see the out of stock, sometimes in stock items where it does not have the out of stock. So by this, we have the variable called in stock items, out of stock item. Then we will be applying because this is the array, right? So you will be getting the array out. So we are getting the count by using the count method from the array output. Then we will be adding to the available count and unavailable count. Basically, we are making sure this count has been saved into the specific variable. Then after that, by using that variable, you can apply multiple logical conditions such as to be greater than, to be less than, or even you can apply the exact count or you can mention for the less than or equal. Now we have seen everything. For example, we have seen what is the difference between hash text and we have seen the hash itself. And hash text, we have exactly giving the product or the, the expected text, whereas hash even it can have the another locator. So by this way, we can apply the filters even in the same line or even we can apply the multiple filters by chaining. For example, after the filter, again, you can apply one more filter. So because of this facility of applying multiple filters or multiple options, we can just narrow down our selection by using the different locators. So this will be very helpful when you have the a product or e-commerce website or in any kind of thing which displays multiple things with the same name. It can be add button, it can be new button, it can be edit button in the different rows. In those scenarios, filtering is very much required. So let's execute and see the output, how it goes. Everything went fine. So we are seeing everything looks good. And this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.